Well, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of feel like I let the video down because I shaved most of my beard off the other day. Roll that intro. Hey everyone, welcome back to Guitar Talk. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. It all really helps. Today we are gonna look at the long out of production Epiphone Buzzsaw Zach Wilde signature Les Paul. So a little something about me you might not know, the whole reason I picked up a guitar in the first place is because back in 2002 when I was a teenager I saw Zach Wilde play with Ozzy Osbourne at Donington at Ozfest and he just completely blew me away and that is the moment I knew that what I wanted to do was play guitar. Um, so this, when we got one of these in, I just had to do a video on it. Kicking off at the body, it is a solid mahogany body. There is no chambering here, no maple tops. You've got your standard Les Paul Bridge EMG HZ4 passive pickups, two volumes, two tones, three way select the switch, and then this striking buzzsaw finish. to the neck instead of the usual mahogany neck we have got a solid hard maple neck bound rosewood fretboard block inlays 22 jumbo frets it's a 24.75 inch scale 12 inch radius and grover tuners on there as well Again, when I was younger and I was massively inspired by Zach Wilde, the third guitar I ever owned was indeed a Zach Wilde Bullseye Les Paul that I gigged to death and I absolutely loved it. I put the EMG Zach Wilde set in and at one point I did own one of these buzz saws as well and I will put a picture here which shows my old living room when I was about 19. You can see both the guitars and as I grew older, I didn't think I could pull off playing a Zach Wilde Les Paul anymore, so I did sell them. And I'm not gonna lie, I kind of regret it because I flipping love those guitars. These, in my opinion, are some of the best built Epiphone Les Pauls they ever made. <laughs> There is no getting away from it. Obviously this is a bright orange guitar with a buzzsaw finish. It is a Zach Wilde signature guitar. You cannot hide it. I know some people will love the finish. Some people will hate the finish. Personally for me, this finish, it holds so many memories. I've seen Black Label Society live so many times. And I remember I saw them at the Astoria in London and there's a picture of me here with long flowing locks when I was much, much younger with Zach Wilde where I met him before the gig. And I remember he played the Gibson equivalent of this guitar and he was so angry because the monitors were blaring right in his face and he kept kicking him off the stage and the security guards kept putting him back on. He got really angry and he actually threw the Gibson version of this 
into the crowd and then obviously had to ask for it back. But again, so many memories that this guitar finish just holds to me that when we got one of these in, oh man, I just absolutely love this thing. So how does it play? Our Lufia technician Geraint has been through and done a setup on this. Obviously these are quite old guitars now so I cannot tell you how this one played out of the box but I can tell you that the ones I bought back in the day knew they were so nice to play straight out of the box and this thing set up it is no different. I stand by the fact that I think that these are one of the nicest Epiphone Les Pauls that you can get your hand on from any period. <laughs> This is not your usual Les Paul, it is just a big old solid non-chambered no weight relieved piece of mahogany for the body. Um, back in the day there was some confusion because some shops would list this as a maple top maybe because it was a Les Paul and they would assume it would have a maple top and because it's got a carved top on it. I can confirm I've looked under the pickups and it is just a big solid piece of mahogany. There is no maple in there. Now something else that is not usual for a Les Paul is it's got this awesome hard rock maple neck which to me it does two things. One it adds brightness to the overall instrument that you would otherwise get from having a maple top and two it just adds loads of tuning stability because obviously maple is a harder wood than mahogany and usually you would get mahogany neck so this hard solid piece of maple there it just does nothing but add brightness and tuning stability to this guitar. <laughs> Buzzsaw comes loaded with EMG HZ pickups which over the years have got a lot of flack for being dull, lifeless and not very good but in my opinion these pickups are dynamic and as long as you dial in your amp properly for these pickups you can get some awesome tones out of this. Yes they do metal, you can get all of those big Zach Wilde pinch harmonics out of these but as well not being active pickups and being more dynamic you can get bluesy tones, straight rock tones, pop tones. These are really versatile pickups. <laughs> quality on these is just unreal. The Epiphone Zach Wilde series of guitars are some of the best built Epiphones I have ever come across. I've played a few of these over the years and they've always been built amazingly and I've not found a bad one. I have come across a couple of Chibson fakes which were just horrendous big baseball bat necks and dull, lifeless, fake EMG pickups. But if you get a real one of these, then they are built nicer than some of the modern day Gibsons that I've come across. These things are just absolutely unreal. <laughs> Do these 
these do only metal, honestly, they do loads of different sounds. If you gave me one of these to play all night in a function band and I had to cover loads of different sounds, I would happily play one of these and know that I'm gonna get through the gig. Does it do those metal tones? Yes, it does, but it does so much more than that. For nostalgia's sake, yes, I would. I would happily own all three, the buzzsaw, the bullseye, and the camo. The camo has the maple fretboard, so it's a bit brighter again. Um, would I pick it as my guitar of choice to play on stage? I think these days maybe I wouldn't want the Zach Wilde graphic because it's so iconic with him that you just can't get away from it. Don't get me wrong, I will happily play signature guitars. I've got a Tremonti, I will play a Silver Sky, I will play a Wolfgang, but they are a little less in your face and so obviously a Zach Wild guitar, but in terms of would I own them for nostalgia's sake, yes, I would. And hey, I said it earlier, if someone gave me one of these and said you gotta play this on stage, I would not be upset at all. So there we go, that is the Epiphone Buzzsaw Zach Wild Les Paul. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below and if you've got anything you want to ask me, drop me an email over at dan at guitargiveaway.co.uk. I would love to know what you guys think of this. It plays as well as I remember from when I was a teenager and I cannot believe how well it's built. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.